Come with us to Lowe's to make a what? Come with us to Lowe's to get materials to make a behind the couch table. Okay, we are here. We are going to get our wood. And what else do we need? Screws and a pocket jay. Screws and a pocket jay. How big is our couch? This is the, this is what I need. That. So, say two feet eight inches. I will end up eventually getting rid of the coffee table. I will have to find like an ottoman or something though. We're gonna see how this goes. I don't know yet. I'm kind of keen to my coffee table. Into fours, equal fours. My mission to find someone to help us cut the wood. The cashier said that he would call it up for someone to come and cut the wood. So, I don't know. My husband got a hair up his butt. He's amazing when he wants to be. Really nice to use this one. guys this is where I want to be because I want to do that downstairs bathroom this is a really pretty one it is called blue grass jazz I don't know why this thing is not focusing for like an accent wall for the back of the toilet all these other pretty colors but I want something I know I want something like dark I just don't know which I want Ooh, this one's really pretty too. It's like a northern hemisphere. The deep water blue. Everglade deck. We're going to take all these really pretty dark colors to see. This one's Newport Gray. This one is Peacock House. I like that. I'm loving these deep greens. Like foresty greens. I think we're gonna go with these ones and we'll check them out. Got everything, babe? Yeah. My paints are just getting mixed. Perfect, thank you. Got everything we needed, plus my paints. We are starting our project. Jason is going to be doing the table while I go into the bathroom and I start painting, prepping and painting the bathroom for our accent wall. So my daughter and her boyfriend were super nice and they taped up the bathroom for me and he took off all the hardware. I was very grateful to them for helping out. Teamwork makes the dream work. Then it was time to paint. I was super excited. I am not the greatest at this. I am not gifted in any way so it was pretty funny to watch me try and do this I kind of did things a little half-assed but I ultimately think I did a good job I can't wait for you guys to see the end result I don't care if I get it up here because I plan on painting this ceiling the same as well so for me it's not that big of a deal so I ultimately decided on using the rest of the dove paint that I got from Lowe's when we painted our living room. And I think I really do like how it turned out. 
So this is disgusting. I have to scrub all of this, but you can see the difference between the wall colors. I do, I didn't think about this, but I will have to tape off the edge over here because this is going to be my accent wall and I've decided to go with this color because I just think it's really, really pretty. So from where the wall curves up all the way down is going to be my accent wall, but I do need to clean this up and then uh, I can finish doing what I need to do because it's just gross in these corners. <laughs> I hope I made the right decision because there's no going back. So let me just clean some things out of the way so I can get into the bathroom with you. Okay, so as you know, I went from this paint color to this paint color, but then I'm liking it. Maybe it's because of the tape and it looks stupid, but it's only one coat, but I hope I made the right decision. I'm liking the color as it's drying. It's getting darker. It's not as like blue, but we're going to do a couple more coats and see what happens. I did get a little bit on my toilet, so I'm gonna have to scrub this down, but please, fingers crossed, I hope I didn't make a mistake. So we're gonna shut this and we're gonna let it dry for now. We'll do another coat later. I'm probably gonna have to go because I just used whatever sample paint I had, but we'll see what happens because if not, it's an easy fix. I can just paint the bathroom the one color, but let's go check on the husband and see how his progress is coming. So what? What are you doing? How's your progress? Um, making uh, my pocket holes uh -huh. for my screws in the legs. That's the waterfall thing? Well, the waterfall is this. Nice, honey. This is going to look good. Are we going to stain it? Yeah. Do you want to see my progress? Okay hey guys, so we are almost done. Ah, I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of really, 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 really love it. Not sure how I feel with this color with this, but we're gonna see it out and see what happens. I'm not sure yet, but you can see the difference in the paint. I still have to finish this. I have all of this to do. I want to change out those light fixtures. Eventually this will get changed out, but yeah, but I am in love with this and I ended up getting that stuff that makes your paint smell good. I don't know if you guys can see if it'll focus, but it's scented paint ad additive. It's tropical winds. The bathroom smells so good. So sorry if that didn't focus, but that's what it is. It's called, it's by Style Selections. It's scented, it's a scented paint additive and it's the tropical winds kind. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm digging this color. I'm so in love with it. I just hope I made the right choice and if I should have really have painted this part, but we'll see. So since we are done with my project for the most part, not really, like I still have to figure out, am I gonna keep it that dove color like my walls or am I going to paint it white to make that group? I don't know. I don't know how I feel yet, but I am still loving that paint color very much. So let's go check on Jason and see how his progress is going with our behind the couch table. <laughs> what have you done so far? I've cut the holes for the holders and uh, the sharpener. So the cup, these are the, the bigger ones are the cup holders? Yeah. And then the small one's the uh, charger? Yeah. Uh oh. We're going to have to do a garage makeover next. An update for us, so we're going to go outside and see what's going on. Oh, honey, it looks good. This one's got to get fixed. We, he knows that, but. Oh, wow. And this, how do you, I don't want to ruin it. Cool. I'm loving it. So 
where did you get all your pieces? Uh, Amazon. On Amazon? Yeah. Even the wireless chargers? Mm -hmm. Cool. We'll put the link in the description box below for you guys. Oh my god, so good. See, my husband's gifted. <laughs> good job, baby. Cool. Oh my god, I love it. I gotta get the posters on the inside. I know, we'll have to get those. All right, guys, so I am currently at work, but I wanted to hop in here real quick just to kind of give you guys an update. So Jason uh, finished the table yesterday. We are going to put it into the house when I get home. I need to finish the bathroom because I did not finish painting and I need to just so I can get it done. It shouldn't be like too long to do, but I'm very excited because I ended up purchasing two new things for the bathroom. So, um... We had a behind the toilet like storage cabinet and I ended up removing it and taking it out. That was behind the toilet um, that covered that wall and it didn't really go with what I was trying to achieve. So I knew I was going to be losing some storage. So I ended up going on Amazon and buying um, a little cart uh, that can fit easily into the side uh, where I can have like little feminine products or easy to grab things for guests, extra toilet paper if I wanted to put some there. And then I ended up getting a new toilet paper holder. So I'm going to insert or show you guys what I ended up getting on Amazon real fast. And then I will also link it in the description box below. So, so far, I hope you guys have enjoyed our video, and I look forward to talking to you guys a little bit later and unboxing my new bathroom decor. Yeah. This is what I ended up getting. Let me click on the image so it'll pop up. So, I got this for a little bit of storage, and then um, I think it'll fit perfectly, but you can put it anywhere pretty much, but I think it'll fit perfectly in my bathroom space getting this toilet holder paper holder and then for the wet wipes <laughs> when you have a little bit of mud butt <laughs> but yeah <laughs> this is what i ended up uh, purchasing so those will be getting unpackaged and put into my bathroom a little bit later but i'm really really excited about it so i really hope that you guys um have enjoyed our video so far, our two separate little projects. Um, of course, my husband is more handier than I am. I am not gifted in any aspect as far as that goes. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, looking forward to opening my packages when I get home and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. because I'm assuming it's something we have to put together. Hello to the puppies because they were clearly excited to see me and I didn't get to say hi. <laughs> Hello, Pookies. Oh, hi. How was your day? What'd you do? My, you can't sit. Through. You're going to get stuck. Go that way. Come on. Come on. Come here. You're going to get stuck. You can't sit through this. Oh, they missed me. Okay, guys. So. Box number one. This is our, let's see if I can adjust you guys a little bit, but this is our toilet paper holder. So, ooh, I like that it's metal. You open it up. 
Ooh, itchy nose, itchy nose. So you get your little bolts, a pair of instructions, don't even think about it. And of course, the actual holder itself. Let's see our other thing. So I'm liking that, I like that a lot. Let's unbox our three tier cart. But before we start in installing all this stuff, I have to finish up the paint and I have to help my husband bring in the table for the back of the couch. So that's what we'll be doing in just a few moments. If I could get this open, give me just a moment. All right, we got it. Give me that please, thank you. You are just into everything. Trays, this is what the trays look like. So, just like that. We've got our wheels and no idea what these are, we'll figure it out. Little projects to do together. Um, I'm gonna step outside, like I said, and help Jason um, bring in the table, but I gotta clear some of this up first because I clearly just made a mess. And then um, we'll get back to this in just a few. Jason and I decided to start taking the couch apart and I wanted to vacuum in the little areas that I could before um, taking the rest of the couches apart. I really love my couch. I like that I can take these apart and then reconnect them and I can make them into different shapes. So I decided to vacuum behind the couch and get all those little dust bunnies. So this is the table sanded and stained. It's so beautiful. So Jason and I are going to be bringing this into the house and we'll be setting everything up. Once Jay and I brought the table in, we knew we needed a few other things so we went to Lowe's. Okay guys, sorry, I kind of got distracted and I just came home and started building it but I forgot to put it on there. But this is the tray. We still have a few things to do to get it together. After I'm done painting, then Jason will do the toilet paper roll so but this is it it's kind of it's aight <laughs> it'll do its job though so I'm happy about that but it basically is just three baskets with these poles it's a really good fast assembly not a big deal so let me just finish working on this and then we'll be back in just a few moments Okay guys, and this is our little cart for the bathroom. It's all done. And we will put that in there and see, make sure it fits. So let's go do that. Yeah, it fits perfect in here. Doesn't take up too much space, it's against the wall. I'll probably end up turning it this way. But yeah, I think it looks good. I did get a basket for on top of the toilet so I'm gonna mess with that as well. Okay guys, so now it's time to put our couch back together and get our living room back in order. So at this point, Jason and I were both so over the day, we were both hot, tired, exhausted, but we had to get it done. So once this was all put back in its place and everything was reconnected, I folded up the blankets and got my couch all cozy again and then Jason wanted to mess around and see how his creation came out. I think he was pretty proud of himself and he should be. He did such a good job and I appreciate my husband for all the little things that he does for our family. I may not always show it but I do appreciate him or express my feelings but I do appreciate everything he does. He works really hard to provide for us and you know, I'm grateful that I have a husband that is capable of um, doing these types of things and willing for that matter. But it was time to start vacuuming my living room. And I, you know, I was watching this creator and she had mentioned something about slow vacuuming. And 
I wanted to try it, but I got distracted by talking to my daughter's friend and kind of just went about the vacuuming. But at first I was like, what is slow vacuuming? But then oh, it's exactly what it says it is. But anyway, then I busted out the wet vac to give my carpets a uh, an additional clean and to um, give it a little shampoo. I was really, really happy. You know, I thought the table was gonna be a lot bigger and was gonna take up more space, but it really didn't. I think I may uh, downsize on the coffee table, but I don't know yet, we'll see. Just a little update, it is the third day and I am still not done. I ended up getting paint in my hair. I have paint all over my arms, but we are almost there with the bathroom. I need to fix up the, t the connecting walls to the accent wall. So once, I'm hoping I can get that done tonight so that way I can then focus on the baseboards and then be done with it. I wanna be done with it by tonight if possible. So fingers crossed and once that's done, I'll be able to show you guys the finished result. Um, so, yeah. Here is the behind the couch table. I think it looks really good. I have a few decorations up there, not too many. My husband and I at our wedding, but it looks amazing. My daughter was using this little gadget earlier to charge her computer. You can go as high or as low as you want it to. And it just gets tucked away like it's nothing. And then the one thing I really like about this is I have wireless chargers now. So my phone is charging and I just think it's really, really cool. And you can't even tell, but it's gonna be nice so I can put my drinks behind here it didn't take up too much space in the living room. It still pretty much looks the same. It's a little bit smaller, but not too bad. And then I'll take you guys into the bathroom to see my little project. So it's not perfect by any means, but I ended up painting the walls the same color as my living room. I even did the ceiling. I think I did pretty good. And then here is the final product of the wall. I think it came out really good. It's simple, it's clean. Maybe a few wall art pictures here or maybe one, you know, for over in this area because it's so bare. Um, but I'm really, really liking it a lot. I think not bad for a solo project. I am not gifted, so it's a little wonky, but it's not terrible. I absolutely love it. I ended up painting the baseboards white. And then I have to take this off, but um, this area right here, I don't know if you can see it, but I have to like paint that uh, still. And then just a little bit down here, you can kind of see and by the door frame. I just got tired and gave up. So, <laughs> but I am ultimately really happy with this. I am telling you ever since I added that, um, additive to the paint. My bathroom smells so good. <laughs> and I really like my new little cart. I stocked it with tissues, an extra wet wipe, an extra toilet roll. Then I have little for my guests and everything. And then here is another little secret compartment for the wet wipes the toilet paper, and then you can set your phone up here if you're in here with your phone, and you gotta, you know, do your business. <laughs> but I really like it. I think it came out really, really good. I'm super happy. I'm loving my mirror. And then I think even, like here, it's like, it just looks so good. It smells good in here. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very, very proud of this little project I did, so. I think it's really, really cute. So now that we have those projects out of the way and those are done, I think we are officially done for a while. I can't stand my house being a mess. So I'm very happy with our little projects. I need to shower. 
I've got paint everywhere, but I think we're done for a while. I'm so exhausted, I can't take it anymore. It is so hard to do renovations in a home you actually live in. Like, there's dust, it's gross, it's, ugh, it's just so nasty. So I think we're done for a while. I think we're gonna take a little break from doing that. I will finish the little corners of the bathroom that I didn't get to uh, maybe tomorrow, but all in all, I'm very, very happy with the progress. It took us three days, me three days, and then, yeah, so, and I'm absolutely loving my little table. I think it's amazing, it's awesome. I can leave my phone there and have it charged, and I'm grateful to my husband for putting that together and, um, you know, being creative. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you enjoyed our video. We really appreciate you guys tuning in, and we will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Bye.